How's it going, everybody? This is Omega Nikon with The Gaming View, and we have got some news for you. Our favorite developers over there on the Monster Hunter team in Capcom have just dropped a huge bomb. So if you guys have been enjoying the spring update like we have, being able to access all the past event quests, loading up on tempered investigations like we have, then you'll be sad to see it go. The spring event is coming to an end very shortly, but always keeping us at the edge of our seat, Capcom has announced a new big assignment, and that is called the Siege of Colve Terrace. We have a new map, we have a new game mode, you heard that right, a new game mode, and we can't wait to get our hands on it. So let's just jump right in and go over what we know already. This is the second free update for Monster Hunter World, and it is dropping on April 19th, or if you stay up late, tomorrow. And it is coming with a new Elder Dragon, a new map, and a new game mode. The new Elder Dragon we have is the Calve Terrace. Not much is known about this dragon, except it is bathed in gold, it looks like. It is pretty awesome looking. It is pretty majestic. It is massive. Now, in order to fight this thing, they've included a new game mode. A siege mode 16 players yes you heard me right 16 players fighting one elder dragon four squads of four players will be able to deploy at once to attack and fight this thing now initially this mission is going to be a deter it's not going to be a hunting mission but for the simple chance that we get to go in with 16 players, come on now. See, this is why we've wanted Monster Hunter on real consoles, things with real power behind them, so that we can do missions like this, 16 players in a Monster Hunter game, all at once. I don't even think the MMO in Japan allowed you to do that. Now, this is going to be a limited time quest, so, make sure you get your hands on it i don't we don't know what hunter rank you have to be in order to, to do this quest i'm assuming you're gonna have to be pretty high so get to grinding while you can this quest will definitely be making a reappearance but we are unsure when that will be and in order to initiate the quest it it starts from the gathering hall so there will be dedicated colve terrace lobbies that you can join if you want to just play with other people that you can attack this or if you have a good sized squad like we do we got a pretty good sized squad we will be jumping in now i'm not sure if you have to have a minimum of 16 players or if you can do the do it with less i'm assuming you will be able to all those questions will be answered in the coming days we'll be having four different hunting parties with four players each but you will all be working together to investigate and hunt down the same colve terrace so we'll all be in the same map gathering uh information on this beast and as we break up into different groups deterring it from the different areas but as you can see from the video it looks like we will be getting in some all-out fights with this thing so the primary goal of the siege is to repel we're not going to be killing this thing i wonder if we'll be able to if we damage it enough but we'll see and this thing looks insane it is obviously massive but man did they do a good job on the detail you can see it's got a ton it coats its body in some metal it says that its ecology and its coat differ with each sighting so maybe we'll get different not variations but different looks on this monster every time we go in we get a new locale unfortunately it's not a snow biome but hey we'll take what we can get right the caverns of el dorado it's a network of caverns shaped and influenced both by the everstream and the minerals that colve Terrath has collected over the years colve Terrath's nesting ground as yet undiscovered, obviously, is rumored to rest within the deepest region of the cavern. So that's awesome. We get a new map to explore, and this thing will probably be in the lowest depths of it, much like the Vale Hazak. We get two new sets of armors. Armor set A looks really awesome. The helmet looks more like the Nerhigante, but I love that cape thing. That's tight. And you see the different bow guns there. Then we have armor set B with the great sword and a long sword. Both armors look awesome, shining in gold. And the Palico armor even looks pretty cool. Turns them into a giant furball. Some other additions and changes coming to the game with this update. They finally added a way to sort investigations. We've been wanting that for a while now. You can sell all your trade-in items at once. It's pretty cool. You can swap between the decoration name or the skill. Sometimes that gets a little confusing depending on the decoration. So now you can just have it as this, what skill it's activating. We can now cultivate ivy at the botanical research. That's like one of the one things we've been missing. If you're a main, if you're a trapper, you definitely will like that update, being able to get ivy, combining it with spiderweb so you can get nets and create traps this is interesting 
the flash pod effectiveness against tempered monsters will gradually decline after multiple uses and will cease to have enough any effect at all after a certain point so basically tempered monsters are now going to be more challenging we're not just going to be able to, to spam flash pods because eventually they're not going to have any effect whatsoever so that's that's awesome it's going to make the game more challenging no more spamming flash pods because now you're going to want to use your flash pods for certain situations probably to help a teammate out of a dire situation awesome they've also reworked some of the rewards for tempered monsters so threat level one special rewards will now produce warp face stones threat level two will produce shining stream stones and threat level three will produce shining stream stones more frequently so that's awesome because if you're at the end game of this game that's what you're looking for you're looking for the augmented materials so you can further increase your weapons uh, to the max abilities and then they also included a ton of bug fixes that we're not going to go through the game runs pretty awesome as it is there's probably just minor things so far that they're just addressing with that all in all guys oh my goodness we can't wait for this update again it's a free update because the monster hunter team at capcom knows how to make a good game thank you so much for bringing it to to real consoles with real power i know i piss a lot of you guys off when i say that but this is obviously why we wanted it on a real system here so we can have 16 player battles against massive monsters with great graphics no down no frame rate drops or anything like that this is what we wanted guys this game has been living up to all the hype if you haven't had a chance to play it what are you doing go out and get it it is worth it it is worth every penny you spend on this game other than that, guys, let us know what you're excited for. We are probably going to do a live stream the first time we can get our hands on this mission. So stay tuned to our channel for that so you can see how epic it really is going to be. If this is the type of stuff you like to see, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. We do cover more games in Monster Hunter, and a lot of those videos will be coming out shortly. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you later.